Hey my loved ones, it's your girl Chanel. In today's video, I have another favorite video. So today's favorite is going to be my face powders. So I wear a lot of face powders, especially to set my, my foundation. And I tend to run to a, like three of them. I have a lot of them because I like to experiment and try to find something my exact color. But you know, a woman of my skin tone, it is hard for us to find the right color. So I have a lot of different foundations I want to share with you guys, especially for somebody of my skin complexion or a little tad darker. Some products that will be very good for you. Um, some of them are drugstore and some of them aren't. Matter of fact, most of them aren't drugstore. So I'm going to share with you guys what face powders I like to use and if you are my skin complexion this video is perfect for you okay so first we're going to start off with the most expensive okay so I used to use this makeup forever professional dual matte and this one is in shade 218 and it looks like this and this is a nice face powder and it kind of blends in with your foundation once you apply it and it is full coverage and it is a matte finish so I really do like this foundation as you can see I almost hit pan but I haven't used this in a while but I might try and use it again especially with me doing these favorite videos is just let me know how much stuff I need to try and use and get rid of so I do like the makeup forever um, dual matte foundation but it is pretty pricey I think it's almost $40 um, so that's why I don't use it that often another one that I really really liked was the Clinique and this one is in shade 146 and it looks like that and I hit pan on this one as well so um, yeah this one is a pretty nice one I think this one was a little red I don't know I don't know why I stopped using it Maybe because it was getting kind of hard. You see that right there? So I really do like this foundation. Haven't used it in a while though. Next is an Inglot foundation. I'm not sure how much the Clinique one was. I think like $30. This one is the Inglot one. I got this at the makeup show about two years ago. And I haven't even put a dent in it. Um, it's alright but it has more of a yellow undertone than a red. So I really didn't run to this as much it kind of made me look chalky so um maybe I need to either find a different color but um I will have to look at the product face to face and not order online because usually when you order online like stuff like this it comes out being the wrong color and this one right here is a Sephora brand this one is in the shade deep 56 and it looks like this and this one was a little too dark but um maybe I need to go and try to find something in between this color so that is what the Sephora brand looks like I really didn't wear this one as much and then next is my La Femme face powder which I can't find anywhere and this is in the color sunburst and I have been wearing this for years and I really like this foundation. I mean, it's pressed powder and it looks like this. I hit pan on all of my sunbursts. So, um, I really like this one because this is a red undertone and I am a red undertone. So, I really like this one. And for work, I really don't like to wear a colored powder foundation. So, when I go to work... I will use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish because it's not really a deep, deep, hard, um, full coverage. And this one is in Deep Dark. The only thing I don't like about this Mineralize Skin Finish is it is not full coverage. And that's the reason why I purchased it. And maybe because it's mineralized. But everybody on YouTube swears by this product. But I don't because I like full coverage so I use it for work because I don't like full coverage at work because you know we running up and down stairs and running back and forth to alarms so I get a little sweaty and this doesn't help at all and this is what I love to use all the time 
especially when I'm going out that that is why I don't use the other foundations because I use my Ben Nye powders I mix Sienna and chestnut together and it gives me my perfect perfect shade but I absolutely swear by these products right here and this is what I use on an everyday use when I'm not going to work but when I am going to work I will use the MAC mineralized skin finish in deep deep dark or my matte prep and prime and yes I wear it all over my face because once it mixes in with your foundation all it looks like is your foundation you can't see it it's translucent so I will wear this or I will wear my Ruby Kisses HD set and forget in banana so those are the foundations that I like to use for work and when I'm not at work. And these are the brushes that I use on an everyday basis for my powders. So I use this round kabuki brush for my Ben Nye powders. And this just applies a foundation on your skin. I mean the pressed powder on your skin just flawlessly. I will press it on my face like that. But the only thing is it picks up a lot of powder. Even when you dust it off, it still applies a lot. So I will do that to my face and put the powder where I need it. And then I will buff it out with this brush, which is made by Coastal Scents. And this comes in the um, 22 brush roll. So it is a kind, kind of dirty. So I use this to buff out the pressed powder and blend it in with the foundation. So that is all I had to show you guys today. I hope this video was very helpful, especially for us dark skinned women that cannot find shades that complements our skin tone. So until the next video, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.